athletes, their status is when they win gold or silver mm -hmm. or bronze. Mm -hmm. But especially if they win gold, because gold, everybody remembers number one, but nobody remembers number two. So number one is what they go for. But how many number ones can you have? That's the problem. <laughs> you have so many athletes trying to be number one, but only very few will become number yeah. one. And what happens if you do become number one and the limelight is taken away, like in yes. Naomi's case, the limelight was taken a little bit away or a lot um, from the occasion because of what happened. Yeah. So that, that's not how the psychology is. Well. The problem with that. You know, wanting the, we all love appreciation and we all love recognition. And, you know, most people like others to, to acknowledge it. Some people don't want to be in the limelight and, and that's fine too. But the problem then is what happens when the feedback's not great. It's, I mean, it's very public, isn't it? And that's, this is the thing with doing the media interviews, or, but also social media as well. And I, I don't know how many of us would cope so well if every day we were getting a whole bunch of people commenting on our work performance yeah. you know who, who aren't even in our workplace well so imagine like, imagine if you did what? your your gym sessions with a camera following you around <laughs> and picking up everything that you do wrong and you do right yeah and people making or, comments or on every that. typo you make on an email or yeah. ring you know so you want recognition email. yeah and you want feedback and that, that, that's an important thing yeah. for workplaces and for us, for our own mental health. Yeah. We want recognition, we want certain status, mm -hmm. but we also want uh, feedback. Yeah. So uh, this is important. When we talk about we recognition, we don't talk about praise. Too, though. You have to be able to take that feedback too, yeah. you know, whichever way it comes. We can't just, as managers, tell everybody it's all wonderful all yeah. the time. We have to be real. Yeah. That's what, so. But but just like with exercise, yes, we, you do it for the benefit of 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 the physicality of it, of the of the psychology of it. But you know, as as people, we want to know: uh, Am I losing weight? That's a feedback mm, mechanism. Yeah. Or uh, am I get, putting muscle on? Am, am I looking a little am bit better? Stronger? Am I getting stronger? Am I getting am I getting healthier? Do I have less colds? Do I have less this less physical issues? So that's kind of feedback. You also get the feedback from your trainer, uh, your form, are you doing it right? Are you doing, what, what do you need to do? What are the sets? What's, what's the repetition? So you're getting all that feedback. And in the workplace, we can learn very important lessons from that. So people need that recognition. They need a status, not necessarily recognition status. Do they feel important? Do they feel that the job is important? Is, is that being done? And the other one is, do they, do they get enough feedback to know to know that they're doing a good job so when and this is the problem between school and universities and and workplaces you know you go to school and university and you get feedback you, you know you a, lot. Get, you get a lot of feedback you get told exactly how you're doing and then you go into a workplace you don't get no clear cut. Much. You don't get an A or a B or a C. Or you don't. <laughs> Sometimes you're flying solo. You don't know. Sometimes you know people are not happy with you, but you don't exactly know why they're not happy. Um, because people are afraid to tell you or we're politically correct or we don't, we don't like to hurt people's feelings. Mm. So so that's a good thing for managers to, to think about and to remember. People need status. Yeah. That they feel that they, it's important what they're doing. But they also need good real, real feedback that is not sugar coated, but presented in the right way. Yeah. And then, if if we have these elements, that's that's not just the movement or the work that we're doing, but there's certain elements that need to be observed for good mental health to happen. Yeah.